Hey guys, Jennifer here with The Family Fudge and welcome to a very special birthday edition of Bunches of Lunches. My oldest daughter Mackenzie turned 12 years old recently. So in today's video, I'm going to be sharing an entire week of extra special school lunches that are filled with all of her favorite things. Now you guys, for Mackenzie's birthday, I will not be making one of our traditional birthday sandwiches. <laughs> I've made those so many times, and since Mackenzie is older now, all of the lunches I've made this week include new fun recipes that I'd never made before. Now, before we get started, go ahead and smash that like button subscribe if you haven't already, and comment down below with the hashtag FudgeFam. That way you can get a shout out in my next video. I'm kicking off this week with an Encanto themed lunch. I have had so many requests to make one of these lunches and now is the perfect time because it is currently Mackenzie's favorite movie. Now comment down below with a butterfly emoji if you've seen Encanto. For the main course of this lunch, I attempted to make arepas for the very first time. Now I think these turned out really tasty and super cheesy. I give them a 10 out of 10 and here's how I made them. This recipe is pretty simple. You just need a few ingredients. I'm gonna start by adding some warm water to my mixing bowl, followed by some pre-cooked white cornmeal flour. This actually wasn't hard to find at all. I just got mine at Target. Next, I'm adding some shredded cheese. The recipe I found says to use mozzarella. Next, I'm adding in some butter, followed by some salt. Now you guys, I actually watched quite a few YouTube videos on how to make these, and all of the latest Ladies from those videos said you have to get your hands in here to mix this up properly. You're supposed to knead this dough until it's mixed well and has a soft consistency. Now my recipe says to form these into balls the size of oranges. I think that's pretty traditional, but I want to make these fit into Mackenzie's lunchbox, so I'm going to be making a mini version. And like I said, you guys, I watched a lot of videos on how to make these, and each person makes them a little bit different. Some people put cheese inside the dough, some people don't put cheese until after it's cooked, but since we like cheese, I'm gonna go ahead and fill these with cheese like some of the videos I saw. Then I'm going to press these together. Once I had all of them formed, I just added them to my skillet with some melted butter and these just needed to cook for a few minutes. Now you guys, these might not be the most authentic, but they are super tasty and very easy to make. This would definitely be a perfect recipe to have kids help make. Next, in Mackenzie's lunchbox, I'm adding some creamy, coconutty fruit salad. To this fruit salad, I added some pineapple, strawberries, mango, kiwi, apple, some weird looking papaya, and some sliced banana. Next comes the creamy part. I added just a drizzle of sweetened condensed milk. And then I finished it all off with a sprinkling of coconut. Once this is all mixed together, it's ready to go. Yeah. 
Next, for the veggie, I'm adding Mackenzie's favorite combo of cucumbers and carrots. These ones have butterfly-shaped carrots in the center. And then on the side, I'm also adding a little nub of corn. For a little sweet treat, I'm also including some little cookie sandwiches. The star of this treat is definitely the Colombian Dulce de Leche. This is like a thick caramely spread. I'm just going to add a little bit of this spread to my butter cookie. Then I'm going to top that with another cookie. Then I'm going to roll the sides in coconut. Super cute, super tasty, but also really easy. And then finally, a refreshing creamy drink. To make this, I'm starting with plenty of ice cubes. Next, I added some limeade almost all the way to the top. This is mostly limeade. And then I added just a little bit of cream of coconut. Now, if you don't have this, you could also just use coconut milk. Once I had the lid back on here, I just shook it up really well to combine everything together. And basically you're left with a drink that is sweet and tart, it's creamy and super tasty. Hey guys, so on Tuesday, which was Mackenzie's actual birthday, we all went to Epcot together for lunch. And that's because they just opened a new Encanto themed booth with lots of yummy foods to try. So what we decided to get was the spicy ajiaco soup. This had chicken, potatoes, avocado, corn, and sour cream. I was a little worried this would be too spicy for the kids, but they all loved it. Next, we tried the chorizo and potato empanada. This looked so yummy and was definitely the most popular item from this booth. So many people were buying these. Now, we really liked this one a lot. It wasn't too spicy either. Now, we also tried the passion fruit mousse, which was definitely the fanciest looking item from the Encanto booth. This had dragon fruit jam, and again, everybody loved this. It was a little bit sweet, a little bit tart, also creamy, very delicious. And then finally, we also tried the coconut and passion fruit smoothie. I also thought this one was very tasty. Now, I think the kids preferred the passion fruit mousse, but my favorite thing was the soup. I thought it was really good. Now, I would love to know in the comments down below, out of all of these Encanto-inspired foods, which one would you like to try the most? Okay guys, for today's lunch, I'm going to add all of Mackenzie's favorite Magic Kingdom foods, starting with some cheeseburger egg rolls. Now you guys, until today, I'd never made any kind of egg roll before. And I'll show you exactly how I made these air fried ones in just a minute. At the Magic Kingdom, if you walk towards the entrance of Adventureland where the Jungle Cruise is, you'll find this little cart and it usually has a pretty long line and that's because a lot of people love these egg rolls. They used to make a pizza flavored one that was really good and right now they also have a pastrami flavored one as well. I'd say one of the big downsides to these egg rolls or spring rolls is that one order only comes with two and it's nine dollars and fifty cents so not the cheapest snack you can get. I'm definitely excited to be learning how to make these at home in my air fryer. Now if you want to make these yourself I will have the recipe linked down below for you but basically I started by cooking up some ground beef with some onions and I went ahead and drained that as well. Next you're supposed to add chopped up pickles in here but Mackenzie says she doesn't like pickles anymore so I left those out. I did however add plenty of shredded cheddar cheese followed by some ketchup and just a little bit of mustard. Basically, you're adding all the things you might put on a real cheeseburger, minus the lettuce. 
Once that's all mixed together, it's time for the wonton wrappers. And you guys, these wonton wrappers were not hard to find at all. I actually got these ones at Walmart, so you could totally make these as well. Now, I just loaded these up with plenty of the filling. These egg rolls are not too small. Then I roll them up kind of like a burrito, making sure to fold in the edges. Right before I got to the end, I also used a little bit of water to help seal it shut. Now usually these get deep fried, but I went ahead and just brushed them with a little bit of oil on the top, just like this, and then I stuck them in my air fryer. These just took a few minutes on each side at 350. And you guys, while these were cooking, I also made a dipping sauce. Now this is kind of like fry sauce, so if you're from Utah, you'll know exactly what I mean. But it's basically just equal parts of mayonnaise and ketchup. And then to this, I also add a little bit of seasoning salt and pepper. Then I just mix it all together, and once it's this nice pink color, you know it's done. And check it out, you guys. Here are the egg rolls. Now, I have to be honest with you guys. I think these might be better than the ones from Magic Kingdom. Next to Mackenzie's lunchbox, I'm also adding some pineapple since Mackenzie loves pineapple Dole Whip. To go along with that, again, I'm adding her favorite combo of cucumbers and carrots. And just for some fun detail, I did cut a couple of the carrots into little Mickey heads. Now when we go to the Magic Kingdom, the snack that we get the most is probably the popcorn. And then when it comes to sweet treats, Mackenzie pretty much loves anything that's Mickey shaped. Today I'm just adding a strawberry rice crispy treat. And then finally, I'm just throwing in some water because of that is our drink of choice at the Magic Kingdom. For today's lunch, I'm going to try to make crepes for the very first time. And that's because Mackenzie recently fell in love with the new crepe restaurant at Epcot. In fact, I think she loves everything about the whole France Pavilion. It's such a fun area. This little crepe place is right next to the new Ratatouille ride. And while we were there, we got two crepes to try as a family. The first one we tried was filled with a chocolate hazelnut spread. And the second one was filled with ham and cheese and a creamy bechamel sauce. My kids preferred the sweet crepe, but I really preferred the savory one. So now to make crepes at home, I did order myself a little crepe maker off of Amazon, but you definitely could just use a regular pan if you don't have one of these. For the crepe batter itself, I found a really easy blender version. This just has six ingredients, flour, eggs, milk, water, salt, and butter. And all you have to do is blend all of these ingredients together. Now you guys, as you can see, this took me more than a couple of tries to get one that was just okay. I'm definitely new at this and you have to act fast. I'm really excited though to keep practicing. That way we can make crepes at home whenever we want. So 
So for Mackenzie, I'm going to make her a little DIY crepe box. At lunchtime, she'll be able to unroll her crepe and fill each one however she wants. For a sweet option, I'm adding strawberries and Nutella. And for a savory option, I'm adding in some chopped ham. And for the cheese, I'm shredding up some Swiss. Now to go along with this, I'm adding some celery with ranch for dipping. And on the side, I'm also including some French style yogurt. This yogurt is thick and creamy, and I love that this yogurt comes in these cute little reusable glass cups. These are perfect if you have a little painting project. For Mackenzie's lunch, I'm gonna go ahead and add in the strawberry flavored yogurt. And for her drink, I'm throwing in a mango LaCroix. Okay guys, now we finally made it to Friday and for today's lunch, Mackenzie asked for a Carl Jacobs theme. Now I had to ask Mackenzie because I wasn't quite sure, but he's one of her favorite YouTubers right now and he's in a lot of videos with Mr. Beast who all of my kids are fans of. Now I need today's lunch to be quick and easy. So for her main course, all I'm going to need is some bread, some mozzarella cheese, and then the surprise addition is food coloring. Mackenzie says that Carl likes purple, so I'm gonna be making a purple grilled cheese sandwich. This is going to be very similar to my rainbow grilled cheese, and if you missed that video, I'll link it down below for you guys. But of course, instead of all of the colors, this time I'm just using purple. Once the cheese is dyed, I'm just going to make these grilled cheese sandwiches like I normally would. And you guys, when it's done, it should look something like this. Now honestly, these sandwiches are best served hot, but Mackenzie doesn't mind eating them at room temperature either. To go along with this, Mackenzie requested cotton candy grapes. And for her veggie, you guessed it, more cucumbers and carrots although this time just one carrot with her initial. For Mackenzie's snack, she asked for goldfish crackers. And since I don't think she'd like these spicy ones and she's not a huge fan of Star Wars, I'm gonna go ahead and go with the baby goldfish. These taste just like a regular goldfish, but they're just a lot smaller. For Mackenzie's birthday treat, I'm also adding in a purple cupcake. And you guys, this time I'm taking some help from the store by getting some already made. For Mackenzie's drink, she requested a white monster because she says that's what Carl would drink but I don't think she needs a monster. So I'm gonna give her this lemon lime drink instead. Now, if you enjoyed today's video, please make sure to subscribe because I post fun lunch ideas just like this every single week. I wanna thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video.